Good morning, Oasis City kids. Welcome to Can You Draw It with the Chong Sisters. We're sisters, so we're in the same bubble. So basically, how this is gonna work is we are going to take turns drawing something and the other is gonna guess. You guys have to guess in the chat. We'll be watching, so write it in the chat. You guys have to guess before the other person does. Make we'll sure you watching. got your guesses in the chat before Lily can get it. I don't know, you'll probably beat her. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. Let's see if I use the right side of the pen here. It's the wrong okay. side of the pen? There it is, the wrong side of the pen. No, 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 no. Okay. But, okay. <laughs> Make sure you draw big. I know. Circle. Bagel. No. Fish tank. No. Uh, yeah, whatchamacallit. Um, uh, Christmas theme, Christmas theme. Snow Snowman. Yeah. <laughs> Circles gave it away. I'm pretty quick. Snowman. Is that a stick? That's his carrot nose. I think you need to make it look more like a carrot. Hey, fine. Looks like a blue stick to no. me. No. <laughs> there we go. Snowmen usually have scarves too, but we'll let it pass. Fine. Oh, the button. There's some. I know there's artists in in City Kids, <sighs> so I know that you guys are probably like, add a scarf. I add a button. Good idea. Okay, my turn. Okay. That was good, but uh, we'll see if you can beat my time. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Christmas thing. Mm. Should I go a little harder? I think I should. Oh no. They, uh, they seem pretty quick to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think this through before I started to draw it, so. Okay, um. Your guess is as good as mine. Donuts. Actually, I'm not gonna give it away. Okay. The head. The head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, see if I can do this. A. Da, da, da. Uh. A. Christmas shopper. That's a good guess. Yeah. Very creative. Yeah, yeah. No, it's wrong. Um, uh, he's got he's got little buttons. He's not a snowman. He's not though. going to work. He's not a snowman. It's uh, a gingerbread man. I'm surprised you could guess that because that does not look like a gingerbread man. I mean, if you because gingerbread's all one piece, you know. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. As you can tell, we're both <laughs> artists, so. So this this uh, works well. Okay, top good. quality. Okay, make sure you guys are putting your guesses in the chat. Uh, cheering for us even. I would I would not be opposed Ooh. to a little a little bit of cheering for me. Um, not that I need it because I will win. You can go ahead. Okay. All right. My That's turn. really small. Hope you guys can see that. All right. I'm gonna <laughs> make do sure it. you do it big because mm -hmm. below the snowman. Okay. <sighs> if you want to. Okay. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, another circle. We love our circles. Oh, that's not a circle. That looks like a potato. Potato. Uh, <laughs> potato with bacon on it? <laughs> We're just a, tomato, a tomato! A no. tomato! Oh, okay, that's not Christmassy. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm gapping the word. The okay. thing on the Christmas tree. I see what you're doing. Is Say the word! Uh, Christmas decoration. No, Christmas, <laughs> Christmas thing that you, that you hang on the branches of the tree. Do you guys know it? Please, if you know the word, please put it in the chat. It starts with a B. <laughs> A ball? Close! <laughs> you you got it in theory, it's a Christmas bobble is what it's called. Um, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, well, that well, was, well. I did a good one. Okay, okay. your turn. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. Um, alright, uh, let's see. I might, okay. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. That one's a building. Very sure. good at my shapes. Building? It's not. How is a building a, a Christmas <laughs> theme? Lights! A fish tank. Christmassy fish. I have never seen a square. Actually, that's not true. Did you say squid? I have seen a square fish okay, tank. Um, Most of them are square. A hamster cage? Uh, no. Those are not Christmas animals. Sure they are. Christmas uh, animals are camels. If you guys know any Christmas animals, please put them in the chat. Uh, we need ideas. <laughs> um, Amazon gift package. No. Oh. A Christmas present! Yes. Yeah. I'm very excited for Christmas presents. <laughs> okay, good job. You can stop now. That's okay. more than enough. Okay, this is gonna be the last round. Last round. Aww. See, <laughs> see if you can get Dang. it. Ready? Three, two, one. No so introduction. Here we go. You just did a whole introduction. But Whatever. That's okay. Road. <gasps> the road to Bethlehem. No, that looks like a road. Noah's Ark. Wrong Christmas story. That's oh, not this even. Hat. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Oh, that's a very fancy hat. It it's not a hat. Okay. Uh, some people might get hats for Christmas. I don't know. No. I've never gotten hats for Christmas before. Come on. Anybody who's gotten a hat for Christmas, please put it in the chat. 
Uh, what is that supposed to be? You. Oh, you can't tell me. I can't tell you. It's a game, right? Uh, what is okay. that? Okay, we'll just make it easier for you. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it's the manger. I like the star. It's the manger! You guys know the Christmas story. It's the star of Bethlehem. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. We'll see you next we week. We missed you guys! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, now we're gonna do some worship together. So everybody stand up and get ready. Guys, you did awesome!
to at Christmas. It's a tradition we do at City Kids, and we're just going to worship Jesus and learn about how He is our hope.
Goodbye, everyone! Hey, city kids. Welcome to the craft part of this morning. I get to show you guys what it is. Very excited about that. Um, so this week, we're learning all about preparation, and so we will be preparing our craft. So, in the kits that you guys got, you have everything you need to complete this craft. So today we're using four things. We're using our wood block. Very nice, double-sided. We're using our sandpaper. We're using our paintbrush. And our paint. So yeah, you got a container of paint. So the first thing that we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you, is we're gonna sand this down. So I'm gonna sand both sides of it, um, but if you want, you can pick which side, because eventually we're gonna paint on it. So, you're gonna take your sandpaper, and we're just gonna sand the wood block in a circular motion and get it really smooth. So, when you guys get it to as smooth as you want, smoother the better, um, then we're going to be painting it. So, I am going to open the paint and try not to spill because I spill a lot of things and I do not want paint to be one of them. So, what we're gonna, um, I'm gonna paint on this side. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint a circle. You're gonna fill in a circle of paint on the surface of the wood. You're not gonna go all the way to the edge though. Um, I'll show you. We're just gonna paint, uh, let's see. I think you guys all have a hole in your wood, so you want it to be probably below the hole. And we're just gonna paint a circle. I will show you what that's gonna look like. You can all see my painting skills. I know that a lot of you are good at painting, so this should be no, no problem. Okay, uh, where do I, I'm just gonna hold this. Um, so you're gonna want to do something like that. Um, this paint is, it's a little thin, so usually what I do is I wait for it to dry, make sure it's completely dry, and then I put a second coat of paint on it so that it's even more amazing. Um, so you guys can be the judge of whether you want to do that. But after you're done painting, I want you guys to all set it in a safe place where nobody's gonna touch it, where nobody's gonna spill anything on it, um, where you're not gonna lose it, so that uh, you, we can come back to it next week. So, we will be continuing this craft next week. If any of you did not get kits, you can, oh, I thought I spilled there. <laughs> you can go, get your parents to go onto our website, oasiscity.ca, and sign up for a kit. Um, but yeah, so come back next week and we will be continuing this craft. Know you guys are gonna do awesome. All right. Super cool because as you can see, we're all dressed up in lights, and that's because this, this, this memory verse is about Jesus being our light in the darkness. First, we'll say, and then you'll repeat after us, and then we'll say it together. John 1 4 to 5. In him was life, and that light was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness. But the darkness has not understood it. Now you guys are gonna repeat after us. John 1, 4 to 5. In him was life. That life was the light of men. darkness, but 
but the darkness has not understood it. Now you guys are gonna say it with us. John 1, 4 to 5. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. Thank you guys so much for doing this new memory verse with us. I hope you guys will practice this and learn this, and we had so much fun teaching it to you. Yeah, we really hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Merry Christmas! Dom and sisters out! Good morning, boys and girls. Glad that you're joining us. Isn't this a good morning? Now, this is our second week of Advent. The first week is the hope candle, and it reminds us that Jesus is our hope. Now, I've just lit, lit the second week's candle, and it is about preparation. See, how we wait matters. Some people think that patience is about waiting, but we know better, don't we? Patience is about how we wait, preparation and waiting. Let me tell you a story about when I was a teenager. One year for Christmas, I really, really wanted a watch. I didn't just want any watch, I wanted a purple quartz watch. It was a specific watch. I asked for it, I hoped for it, I waited for the watch, and then something happened. The day before Christmas, my mom and dad went out, and I decided to look for the watch. Sure enough, I found it, and do you know why I remember that Christmas so strongly? It's because finding the watch wrecked Christmas for me that year. I got the blessing that I was hoping for and waiting for, but my joy was stolen by the fact that I had deceitfully found it. There are lots of ways that we prepare for Christmas. And my story is just to remind us that what we do while we're, while we're waiting makes a really big difference. Have you ever bought or made a gift for someone only to decide that you really want that thing? Does the awesome gift make you happy to give? Or do you choose sometimes to whine or try to talk your parents into giving it to you instead? What are some things that you can do to wait well this year, to prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus? Put some of your answers in the chat if you'd like. We'd like to hear those answers. Okay, we're gonna play a story now. The angel said to Mary, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, seeing that I have no husband? The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. Okay, let me just go back to one specific verse. Luke 1 verse 30 says, Do not yield to your fear, Mary, for the Lord has found delight in you and has chosen to surprise you with a wonderful gift. Do you find it encouraging that even Mary experienced fear? We all feel afraid at times, but God encourages us to not yield or give in to the fear that attacks us. But instead, see the wonderful gift that God has given us in Jesus. When we belong to Jesus, it doesn't matter what scary things happen. He'll always be with us. So how do you think Mary prepared for having a baby? How do you think she prepared for being the mother of the Lord? You can read the story. It continues. Read it with your parents at home. But I'll tell you, she went to see Elizabeth. 
and she sang in worship to God. I think that's a great example for us. I'd like to prepare my heart by rejecting fear, encouraging others and being encouraged by them, and by worshiping God. Some of you might not have decided yet to follow Jesus and serve him with all your heart. If you would like to ask Jesus to forgive your sins and you want to decide to follow him, I want to make sure we have a chance to pray today. So let's just close our eyes. Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you came to earth. You lived a sinless life, a perfect life. You died and rose again. And you're going to come back one day for us. Thank you that you are God. You want to live with us and be in our hearts and give us new life in you. Please forgive the bad things I've done. Help me to follow you and live my life for you and with you. Amen. If you just prayed to give your life to Jesus, congratulations. You've just made the most important decision of your life. Let your parents know. Maybe put it in the chat or email us. We'd love to celebrate with you. We also want to encourage you to sign up for our at-home Christmas kit if you don't already have it. Just go to the website, it's not too late. We even mailed packages to Williams Lake in Alberta this week. These Christmas packages will be available for pickup or delivery right up to Christmas Eve. And you can go back and watch on YouTube anytime to catch up on the craft. Remember, this week is all about preparation. How we wait matters. We love you. See you next week.